The ethics of the industry minister are being questioned again tonight. Just days after Christian Paradis was found guilty of conflict of interest, CTV News has learned of a trip Paradis took to a luxury hunting lodge owned by a government lobbyist. CTV's Ottawa Bureau Chief Robert Fife has the exclusive details. Christian Parody was already in enough trouble after the Ethics Commissioner found him in conflict of interest. He set up meetings with senior officials to help former Conservative MP Raheem Jaffer lobby for government money. Mr. Parody had uh, favoured Mr. Jaffer, uh, given him preferential treatment effectively, uh, as a friend. The ruling marks the first time a sitting cabinet minister has been found in breach of the law, but Parody refuses to resign. The company in question never secured a contract, and there was never any prospect of question or question of any advantage on my part. Now he may be in more hot water. CTV News has learned in 2009, when he was public works minister, Parity stayed at the exclusive hunting lodge of Marcel Obu, the former owner of the Quebec Nordiques. At the time, Obu, now president of the Canadian Olympic Committee, was lobbying Ottawa to help fund a $400 million arena in Quebec City. If you're that minister, you should under no circumstances accept any invitation to go to a hunting camp unless it's from your family. The conflict of interest code says ministers are not to accept any gift or benefit connected with their position that might reasonably be seen to compromise their personal judgment or integrity. Parity's office confirmed he spent two nights at the lodge. The party of four that included Obu shot a moose. Parity's office insisted he brought his own sleeping bag, food and hunting rifle. I don't care if he brought his sleeping bag. It is totally inappropriate uh, to accept an invitation in this circumstance. The Ethics Commissioner is also investigating parity for moving an employment insurance centre from an NDP riding to his Quebec constituency and into a building allegedly owned by his father's business partner.